Hi guys, welcome to today's Couples Connection Exploration. So for our experiment today, we will be working with the breath and um, landing with each other. So you'll need about 10 to 30-ish minutes, I would say, to set aside for this particular exercise. Um, and this can be done in many different positions. It could be back to back, um, it could be you know belly to belly, but one way we'll demo it today and one way we would like to do it is um, just in the nice spooning position. So either um, you know this way or I could be you know spooning right that way. So um, it just that that's a position that many people are comfortable with and um, it's a nice way to really kind of land and feel into your partner. So um, with this, you'll be kind of first landing within yourself and then starting to feel into the breath and the movement of the body of your partner. And um, this can be a really nice way to start to connect once again non-verbally and just kind of land together, start to feel the rhythm of your own unique partnership. Yeah, the breath work that, you know, that we're going to dem demo is for me is really important to just feel different parts of Corey's body, inhale and exhale. And I can feel her on my body in a different kind of way, um, just because I'm more conscious of my own, what I'm feeling inside and the connection that is possible um, just with the dedicated time and effort into just breathing and breathing with each other. Um, the goal isn't to have sex, um, it is a possibility, um, but that's not the goal, but um, just encourage and uh, invite the relaxed intimacy and exploration of the breath and the body and touching and feeling the body in a different kind of way. Yeah, it's important to not have any particular goal or end goal in mind while doing this. It can be a very peaceful experience. It could lead to a very sensual, erotic experience, mm -hmm. um, but to just kind of let yourself have this time for just exactly what it is, which is just meeting each other through the breath. And it also can be really kind of nice to um, feel into the communication that happens between our bodies, between our essence, um, as we're spending this kind of intentional time together. And again, the invitation again is to stay with it. It may be uncomfortable just because it's something that we don't do every day. Um, but the invitation is to stay and, um, you know, for the, the a lot of time that you guys give each other. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we will uh, set up a demo and we'll see you there. Okay, so hopefully you have found a space where you can be comfortable. Again, this can be done on the bed, on the floor, on a mat, or wherever you guys are comfortable. So you might want some support pillows, so something to kind of support your neck, or maybe a pillow to support your knees so that you can be uh, comfortable in this position for some time. And if you need to move around or shift a little bit while you guys are um, doing this experiment, then that's totally fine too. Just the priority is to make yourself comfortable so that you can relax and soften into your partner. Okay. So I'm gonna lie down and like I said, we're gonna use the spooning method here. And you wanna make sure you have some nice contact with your partner, kind of feeling into their body as as much as comfortable for you and them. Are you okay without a leg support pillow? Okay. So then you're simply gonna first soften within yourself. Notice your own breath and how it's moving through your body right now. And just let yourself land in the space before intentionally connecting with your partner. Sort of feel into your own skin, if you will, with your breath. And there could be a temptation to want to go to sleep, but really try and stay alert. And as Rick said before, kind of stay with your partner in this. So once you feel like you've kind of landed within yourself, then you can go ahead and start to just kind of notice your partner's body against yours. And notice where your body's touching their body. Notice the parts of their body that move as they breathe and the parts of your body that move 
as you breathe. And the places where you two meet each other. And then see if you can start to really feel into these places where you meet each other and just feel into the connection that's there. some loving intention into those spaces, some intention to meet your partner. And just see if you can land and feel into those places where you two meet the rhythm of your own breath, the breath of your partner, and then the unique rhythm that happens between the two of you. And you might want to kind of snuggle in to get some more connection at certain points. It's fine if you need to adjust anything, but really let yourselves just meet each other here. You know, for the sake of this demo, we'll move a little bit more quickly here. Um, and just this is just sort of a taste of what can happen for you all. But for you, uh, you might want to go ahead and set yourselves a timer so that you're not kind of needing to think about, oh, how long have I been here? You know, what else is happening? Just a time that you both agree upon that you can designate to this, this space and time. If you're doing it before bed, that might not be as important. But if you're doing it at another time, kind of during the day, then um, you might just both want to know there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And that, that can just help us to really devote the time and space to this place. So then as you, um, as you meet the end of your time together, you, wanna just, you don't want to just pop up immediately. You want to really kind of take your time and as, as Rick did, maybe just give your partner a little kiss or a little kind of squeeze to complete this space and time and then be really thoughtful about how you're separating from this person so you might want to kind of just gently begin to unwind a little bit maybe kind of roll towards each other just maybe acknowledge each other with your eyes for a moment or two offer some words of thanks or appreciation if that feels right for you. And then if you if you are going about more of your day from this point, just see periodically throughout the day even if you can feel into some of that breath space of your own but also the shared breath space and maintain aspects of the connection. You don't really need to cling to anything but just to, to notice and re-feel into this space as you're interacting throughout your day. See if you can feel your partner, even though you might not be spooning or touching in that moment, just see if you can feel into the breath space between the two of you in your everyday activities. So, okay guys, we hope you enjoy and uh, we will see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, giving us a like, or dropping a comment below. It really helps us out a lot. And if you want your own sweet iRot gear, then go ahead and click the link below and it will send you straight to our store so you can get some. Thanks so much for supporting us.